how to export a file from your local Mongo database that is on your computer. Uh, export a file from that uh, local database and then import it into your Mongo Atlas which is hosted online. So uh, to do this we have to, uh, first of all we have to find out from what database on your computer you want to export uh, what collections and then once you have that information you can use a, uh, a command in your command line on your Mac or on your PC and then export that file into a specific directory and once you have that file you can use another command line command to import it into your Mongo Atlas to any cluster or any database that you have into any collection. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to go ahead and get into my Mongo shell on my... Uh, okay, so I'm here. I'm just going to check what database I want to use. I'm going to, I know exactly what I'm going to use. I'm going to use uh, Yelp Camp DB. And then once I'm inside this Yelp Camp database, I'm going to uh, ch check what collections do I have so I can decide whatever documents I want to export from this database. So I have campgrounds, reviews, session, and users. So basically I'm gonna select campgrounds, I'm gonna export this campgrounds collection and then import it into, into my atlas. So let's go ahead and do that. To do this I'm gonna have to run a specific command. Uh, I'm just gonna paste it here. Okay, I have it. I have to exit out of my Mongo shell first. Press this. Okay, so this is the um, command that I'm going to run to export the collection from my database. Okay, first of all, I'm going to have to change the database to the whatever database I have. Uh, the one that I'm selecting is Yelp Camp of Yelp Camp DB, and the collection that I have my document located is campgrounds that we just checked campgrounds and the out is equal to a file name so if you want to save your file name whatever your name put in here it's just going to export it and save it uh, with that name let's say test export under uh, dot json this is what i want to export enter now it says exported 300 records, which is fine. So now if I check LSN in my current directory, I see that file text, uh, text underscore export.json. So basically it has exported 300 documents from this collection. Um, I can verify that by opening that document. Mm, okay, so this is the JSON file that was exported just now. And if I scroll down to verify it, there has to be only 300 documents in this collection uh, yep there is 300 documents so the next thing we're going to do is uh, since we already done with exporting the file from our local database the next thing is import that into our Mongo Atlas and in order for me to do that I'm gonna have to copy a command line uh, command from my cluster or from my database on my Atlas uh, we can do that I think everyone has uh, different so in my, uh, if I go to my database, uh, there is these options, connect metrics, collections. I'll just select this on my clusters actually. I'll select this option with three dots and select command line, command line tools. And in the command line tools, if I scroll down, there is an option that says data import and export tools. And here we have one for import and one for export. And since we are importing the data into the Atlas database, I'll copy this one and execute it in my command line. So I'll paste this here and I'll have to make some changes where it says file name, I'll put the file name I want to import. Uh, where it says file type, I'll, a file type, I'll change the file type to JSON collection. Okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that so you can see how I do it. Uh, I'll start with my uh, password. Oh, I'll, I don't worry about the password right now. Let's just change the database. If I have a database on my Atlas, I can use that. If not, I can create one. I'll just create one right now, test underscore DB. This is what I'll create, and I'll create a collection inside this database called test collection. Uh, let's say first collection. First underscore collection. This is the name of the collection inside the test database that I just created, and file type is gonna be JSON, since it is a JSON file. Oh, well, you can use a uh, text file or uh, CSV, but the file that you're ex exporting has to be, importing has to be in that format, JSON. 
and the file name should be the one that I have in my directory test file underscore JSON perfect so now in order for me to run this successfully and upload uh, import this file into my atlas I have to enter my uh, password for that database uh, okay I'm just gonna go ahead and do this uh, so that you're not able to see it <laughs> Okay, I'll just go ahead and type the password and run it. Okay, let's see. Okay, connected to. Okay, perfect. 300 documents imported successfully. So it has imported those documents into our Atlas. Now we can go ahead and verify that by going to our clusters and let's go to collections and see. Oh, there it is test database and first collection if you go to this collection it has 300 documents in it so that's it guys i'm going to paste the uh, export uh, the command line to export the data from your uh, local database and for the import command line tool you have to go to these command line tools here inside your atlas and use the mongo import option and use that file the command to import Thank you.